Have you ever wondered, how much protein should I actually eat every day? You've probably heard dozens of different answers. Some say you only need a small amount. Others claim you need to eat your body weight in grams. Some push high protein diets, others warn against them. So who's right? The truth is, protein is one of the most misunderstood and most essential nutrients in your diet. Whether your goal is to build muscle, lose fat, boost energy, improve mental clarity, or simply age well, getting enough protein is absolutely crucial. But how much is enough? And does it depend on your age, your body, your activity, or your goals? In this video, we're going deep. I'll show you how much protein your body actually needs based on science, not fads, the ideal amount for different goals like fat loss, muscle gain, and longevity, the best sources of protein and how to get them easily, and we'll bust some myths that are still holding people back from eating right. So grab a drink, take notes, and let's unlock the truth about protein, because your body deserves the fuel it needs to thrive. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is protein, and why is it so important? Protein is one of the three macronutrients, alongside carbohydrates and fats. But unlike carbs and fats, your body can't store protein in the same way. That means you need a steady, daily supply from food. But protein isn't just about muscles. In fact, it plays a central role in nearly every biological process in your body. Here's what protein actually does. It builds and repairs tissues, including muscles, skin, organs, bones, and hair. It forms enzymes, which help you digest food, regulate hormones, and perform cell reactions. It supports your immune system, creating antibodies that fight off viruses and bacteria. It helps regulate blood sugar and keeps you full, making it essential for appetite control. It even transports nutrients like oxygen and iron through your blood. Every cell in your body needs protein, every single day. Without enough protein, you might experience muscle loss or weakness. Slow recovery after workouts. Low energy. Mood changes. Weakened immunity. Brittle nails, hair thinning, poor skin elasticity. Now, here's something most people don't know. Your protein needs increase based on age, activity, goals, and stress. So while the basic recommendation for a sedentary adult is 0.8 G per kg, that's only the minimum to prevent deficiency, not to optimize health. If you're physically active, recovering from injury, aging past 40, or aiming to improve body composition, your body requires significantly more protein to function at its best. Still with me? Good. Let's break down the numbers in the next section. So how much protein do you actually need? Let's start with what official guidelines say. Most health organizations recommend 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. That's about 0.36 grams per pound. For an average sedentary adult, a 70 kilos, 154 oz person would need just 56 grams of protein per day. But here's the thing. That number is based on the minimum amount needed to prevent deficiency, not to support an active, healthy, strong, or lean body. It's like saying you only need 5,000 steps per day to not be inactive. But that doesn't mean 5,000 steps will keep you fit, strong, or lean. When we look at modern research and real-world results, the optimal range is much higher for most people. Here are more realistic, science-backed protein recommendations. Active adults and general fitness, 1.2 to 1.6 grams flash core of body weight. Oyo 55 to 0.75 grams high LB. Muscle building or strength training, 1.6 to 2.2 grams slash koi. Oyo 0.7 to 1 gram slash LB. Fat loss while preserving muscle, 2.0 to 2.48 grams slash tiki. 0.9 to 1.1 grams slash LB. Older adults, 50 PEs, 1.2 to 2.0 grams slash kg to prevent sarcopenia, age-related muscle loss. Let's put this into perspective. If you weigh 70 kilos, 154 times, and your goal is to lose fat and keep muscle, your target protein would be 
140 to 168 grams per day. That might sound like a lot, but when you break it into meals, it's manageable. 30, 40 gyuns at breakfast, 30, 40 gyuns at lunch, 30 to 40 gyuns at dinner, plus snacks like Greek yogurt, protein shakes, eggs, or tempeh. Remember, hitting your protein goal isn't about being perfect. It's about being consistent. Even small improvements in your protein intake can lead to better energy, body composition, and performance. Next up, we'll break it down by goal. Whether you're bulking, cutting, or just staying strong, I'll show you exactly how much protein you need and why. Now, let's get personal. Your ideal protein intake depends entirely on your specific goals. Whether you're trying to build muscle, lose fat, maintain strength, or stay healthy as you age, your needs will vary. Let's break it down. 1. If your goal is to build muscle. To build lean muscle, your body needs more protein than usual to repair and grow your muscle fibers after resistance training. According to leading research, the optimal range is 1 to 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. That's around 0.7 to 1 gram per pound. So, if you weigh 75 kg, 165 pounds halims, you should aim for 120 to 165 grams of protein per day. This range supports muscle protein synthesis, improves recovery, and reduces the risk of muscle breakdown. The key? Spread it across the day. Three to five protein-rich meals every three to four hours, too, if you want to lose fat while keeping muscle. Here's a hard truth. When you cut calories, your body doesn't just burn fat. It can also break down muscle. That's why protein becomes your number one ally in a fat loss phase. To preserve muscle and burn fat, studies show you need 2.0 to 2.4 grams per kilogram. That's 0.9 to 1.1 grams per pound. So, someone weighing 80 kilos, 176 kanisubs, should aim for 160 to 192 grams per day. This sounds like a lot, but remember, Protein keeps you full, supports metabolism, and burns more calories during digestion. High thermic effect. Plus, it protects muscle during your deficit, which means better body composition overall. 3. If you're active, but not trying to bulk or cut. For general fitness, performance, and maintenance, aim for 1.2 to 1.6 ch chunkigiyos, or 5 to 0.75 chulsorishal. This is ideal if you do cardio, yoga, or light strength training. Want to feel good, recover well, and avoid losing muscle. Have no aggressive fat loss or muscle gain goals. Example, a 65 calorie person needs 78 to 104 g units of protein daily. Totally achievable with whole foods and one, two snacks. Four, if you're over 50, Aging comes with a natural decrease in muscle mass and strength, a condition called sarcopenia. To fight that, protein becomes even more critical. Research recommends 1.2 to 2.0 g alcohol in body weight. Higher protein in older adults. Preserves lean mass, supports bone health. Reduces frailty and falls. Helps maintain mobility and independence. If you're over 50, Aim higher, not lower, with your protein, so you know how much protein you need, but where should it come from? Let's break down the best protein sources, both animal-based and plant-based, and how to combine them to meet your goals. Animal-based protein sources. These are considered complete proteins, meaning they contain all nine essential amino acids your body can't make on its own. Some of the best animal-based options include chicken breast, 31 G protein per 100 G. Eggs, 6 G per egg, complete protein. Fish, like salmon, tuna, cod. Greek yogurt, 10 to G plus per serving. High leucine content. Cottage cheese, 13 G plus per 100 G. Lean beef, 26 G per 100 G. Rich in iron and B12. These sources are highly bioavailable meaning your body digests and uses them efficiently. They're especially helpful for athletes, people trying to gain or retain muscle, 
or those with higher protein needs. Plant-based protein sources. Plant proteins can absolutely support your goals, but you'll need to be more strategic. While many plants contain protein, most are incomplete, meaning they lack one or more essential amino acids. That's why combining them is key. Great plant-based protein options. Lentils, 9G per 100 grease cooked. Chickpeas, 8G per 100 grange and cooked. Tofu and tempeh. Complete protein, 10 to 10, 19G per 100 grease. Quinoa, complete protein, 8G per cup cooked. Black beans, 8G per 100 GEAs. Nuts and seeds, good in moderation, 5 to 7 G in per 30 G inch serving. Seitan, 25 G plus per 100 Gs. Wheat based. Combining foods like rice and beans, hummus and pita, or peanut butter on whole grain toast ensures you get a complete amino acid profile. What about protein powders? Protein powders can be a helpful tool, especially if you're busy, have high needs, or struggle with appetite. Popular options include whey protein, fast digesting, high leucine, great for muscle growth, casein, slow digesting, great before bed, plant-based blends, rice plus P equals complete, collagen, supports joints and skin, but not a complete protein. Use powders as a supplement, not a crutch. Focus on whole foods first. In the next part, we'll look at how to actually distribute protein throughout the day for maximum absorption and effect. So, how much protein should you be eating? If you're sedentary, start with 0.8 gg gigas. If you're active or want to improve your body, aim for 1.6 to 2.2 gigs. Trying to lose fat? Go higher, 2.0 to 2.4 gg. Over 50? Don't go lower, go higher. Just remember, prioritize whole food sources, distribute your intake throughout the day, and most importantly, stay consistent. You don't need to be perfect, just better than yesterday. Protein isn't just fuel for muscle, it's fuel for life. Eat smart, fuel well, and take care of your body. Thanks for watching. If this helped, drop a like, hit subscribe, and share it with someone who needs this info. See you in the next video.